So in this video we're going to be looking at lab number two um, of the SQL injection series on Portswigger which is uh, to do with login bypass. So essentially in the description it says this lab contains a SQL injection vulnerability in the login function. To solve the lab perform a SQL injection attack that logs into the application as the administrator user. So there's a couple of bits of information there. Um, one being that we know that the user that we need to log into is called administrator. So let's start by accessing the lab. I've already got it open here. If we go to my account, you can see we've got like a login section. So we can just try with our administrator user, just typing in administrator. And then just like a random password, I'm just going to do password, which is my banking password. You see we get an invalid user name or password. So it's not giving away any information. Normally I'd have like a low risk finding in a pen test report, like if it gave like a boolean answer like this, this password is incorrect for this user um, or this user doesn't exist it allows you to kind of build up uh, a, a list of valid usernames for that web application but in this case we just want to see if we can throw a SQL error so if, I, if we just type in administrator and then just have a single quote at the end and then just anything from the password You can see that we have an internal server error. So that's a very good sign that we have a SQL injection issue here. So let's go back to our form. And we should be able to do very much the same thing as what we did in the previous video, where we threw the error first and then we we're able to create a true statement. So the most well known statement is one or one equals one um, so in this case the database will will say okay well that's true and then in a login issue like this it should allow us straight through so let's just go back to our SQL injection cheat sheet here so we've tested for the initial SQL injection here just with a simple error based single quote which has produced an error and we know that we can use uh, the previous database was MySQL, so chances are it will probably be the same for this one here. So we can end our comment with a minus minus. We've also got some syntax here with um, one equals one, different types of payloads here, um, and then we can try some of these, see if they work. Okay, so let's go back to our vulnerable application, and then we can try. Let's try um, administrator. And then a single quote. And then we can try or one equals one and then a minus minus to end our statement. Just put anything for our password. And you can see that did actually work because we're now able to update our user's email. So I hope you got something useful out of this video and please do leave your comments.